Okay, everyone, back for another episode of Cardboard from Mars. This is a rare midweek stream, uh, but I've been having so much fun uh, doing these uh, drafts lately um, that I just couldn't resist. Got done a little bit early at work, and uh, here we go. So I I do ha I'm not a huge fan of UNMI. I have to I have to admit admit that. Um, Throw in a high GL here, um, but I also don't have a lot of videos with UNMI. Let me just see here. Um, they do have an Earth tag. I don't have a lot of videos with UNMI, so maybe maybe I should just try it out. Um, let's see here. So I've got Cartel. Release of inert gases. You want things that let you uh, bump your terraforming rating, obviously. Um, I don't think I want black polar dust. Definitely not hired raiders. Don't need soil factory or Ganymede colony. Mine could be worth it just as a cheap building tag. Um, yeah. I'll try that just as a cheap building tag. I don't really have other building tags that I want to go for here. Um... trying to think what what am I was my strategy going to be in this one I guess I'm not sure I want mine actually I mean it is a cheap building tag I don't know maybe I don't want mine All right, I'm just gonna go with those three cards. <clears throat> that could be a mistake. Um, okay, I get to lead off, so that's good. So I'm gonna play this uh, imported hydrogen first and get the cards. Um, so let's go ahead and get these cards. Yeah, I'll take the plants and let's see what we got here. Fuel Generators and Inventors Guild. So I can play everything in my hand except for, so I'm gonna skip here. So I guess the question is, I do wanna bump my TR rating. If I do that, I lose out on inert gases, but that's fine, because I can play that next turn, and that gives me a way to bump uh, my TR rating next turn. I think I would like to get a little bit more out of Cartel than just two. Um, So I think I'll wait one more round of draft for that. But I think I will play, um, I think I will play this Inventor's Guild. Let me think, will I have enough, I will have exactly enough to play Inventor's Guild, use UNMI's ability and uh, dr actually buy the card off of uh, Inventor's Guild if it's good. So I think that'll be my play. <clears throat> for those of you watching later on the YouTube channel, let me know uh, what advice you have for me with UNMI. I don't, I don't play this one very much. Um, but my, my hand was not super optimal for Phobolog, and I felt like it would be a good idea just to you know post this one uh, with UNMI. So it looks like we're playing Ecoline and Saturn Systems. <clears throat> Alrighty, so he's playing <clears throat> Mining Rights. It's a, certainly a great card for Saturn Systems. And a little bit of power. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump. I'm gonna go ahead and bump my TR rating. And then skip. <clears throat> Uh, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and play Inventor's Guild. And let's see what the card is. <laughs> Viral Enhancers. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to take that. Card is decent, but I just, I don't know. I think I can do better. All right. Um, I guess the question is, what am I going to go for in terms of milestones? Obviously, Terraformer is uh, a good option. And I'm going to be, if I play Release of Inert Gases, I'll be at 25 at the end of this generation. Wow. Okay. Well, um, so I'm passing odd or even down. So I'm passing to Ecoline. So I think I'm going to try and make the Ecoline player cut Terraforming Ganymede. I, I don't really want this card. Obviously, I don't want to pass it to the <clears throat> to the Saturn Systems player, so let me just make sure on this. Even down. Yeah, so I'm passing to Ecoline right now. I'm just going to take Olympus Conference, and I'm going to make this player cut that from Saturn Systems. That could work out poorly for me, um, but we shall see. Um, Virus, Protected Valley, and Energy Saving. I don't really want any of these cards. I guess I'll just take Protected Valley. I mean, if these guys want to cut cards for me, or if they want to hit me with Virus, like, I'm okay with that. That's whatever. Okay, so that's interesting. So I already, ha I already have two. I'm going to have two Science Tags. Um... Probably gonna take Colony Ship, and I probably keep that card just the way that this is looking. It's a good, <clears throat> it's a good card. I do want to make sure that I have enough cash to. Uh, this is a sweet card too because it's also an Earth tag, so it's gonna set up my uh, cartel. So all right, if I take Conference and Colony Ship, um, that's gonna cost me six. I'll have nineteen, so I have enough. I'll just have enough to play um, release of inert gases and bump my terraforming rating again. So I'm going to take those two, and then on generation three, I'll try and get, I'll, I'll play the third earth tag and then play cartel and try and bump my economy a little bit. That's a fast plant in a fast city. <laughs> it's a, maybe hard for me to get to. Uh, maybe hard for me to get to Terraformer. Yeah, I think UNMI is just not very good, but we we shall see. Um, I I always tend to find it somewhat. Um, I just very rarely play it because there are very few corporations that I think of as being worse than it. Um, I mean, obviously Phobolog. The cards that I had for Phobolog were pretty lackluster. So that's, you know, and I guess in that case, UNMI looks better, but... I'd have to sit down and do the math, but like basically, let's say you optimally play UNMI and you spend, you figure out a way, oh, that's, that's kind of dirty. Um, you kind of, you figure out a way to raise your TR rating once every single generation and you use the ability. So you spend 30 credits to get 10 points, which is pretty good. And then you get all the bumps to your economy and everything. Um, so let's go ahead and do... Yeah, release of inert gases. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough money to... Um, I'm not going to have enough money to actually buy it or look at a card and buy it. I guess I could. Yeah, I want to keep all these cards. You could make a case for selling fuel generators, but I don't know. I, it's That's not a horrible card. Um, All 
All right, I'm gonna look at the card anyway. Satellites. That's fine, I didn't want that one anyway. So you might say, well, why would you use that card if you didn't have the money to buy a card? And the issue is, this is like a kind of a, just a corner case, or this is like really like low, low percentage increase in your win or whatever, but you do get more information just by knowing what you put on the bottom. So for example, if I had drawn a Jupiter multiplier there, then I know that there's two Jupiter multipliers on the bottom. Okay, so we're passing uh, odd up. So on this one, I'm passing to Saturn Systems. That is unfortunate because no matter what I pass, I'm going to be passing something very good. Um, Advanced Alloys is not good for me. Mars University is quite good, but I, I don't think I can pass Alloys to the Saturn Systems player. So I'm going to have to hack this one, and I hope that the other player didn't take uh, terraforming Ganymede. Or didn't pass it, I should say. Um, okay. So, I don't, I don't really love any of these cards. Uh, Ecological Zone. It's like, okay. I don't think I'm buying this card. I don't care about regolith eaters. However. Okay, Great Dam could be good. I still don't think I'm buying that card, but it could be good. So I think my play this turn is going to be to get down Cartel and the University. I don't really need advanced alloys. So I've got I've got one science tag. This will be my second. I've got a third here. I'm going to keep the Mars University. Don't think I'm keeping any of these cards. I think I'd rather just stay flexible here. Um, do I have a way to bump the TR this turn? I don't think I do. So I'm just gonna have to take a turn off of the ability. And I don't have a card to filter right now either. Yeah, I probably will filter fuel generators. I didn't want to just sell it. I guess the, I guess my other option would be to, to look at a card and then buy that one to filter because I do want to play... I'm going to play the Olympus Conference. Yeah, I'm probably going to go Conference Cartel and look at a card. I think that's my turn. You can see, like how UN, UN gets just outpaced a little bit. I guess it's not that bad. Um, oh, so he picked up that regular theaters. That's interesting. I don't think that card's very good, but maybe it's good on turn three. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at a card first. Oh, heck yeah. Definitely taking research. That thing's great. All right, so I also have a bunch of science tags now. And also, Research is amazing with Olympus Conference and Mars University. So if I can get these cards out first, I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of cards. So I still have enough to go Conference and Cartel. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So Part of me is also thinking like maybe I should wait a turn and play research before firing off cartel, but the reality is that like, okay, under, even under the optimal scenario, let's say I, I skipped playing cartel this turn, played it on the next, this game goes 10 generations, then I get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven hits off of four instead of three, it's 28 versus three times eight is 24. It's only four cash if I wait a turn and I'm lucky enough to hit another earth tag. So I think I think just playing the cartel now is where to go, where, where I want to be. Um, and I've got some nice card draw for the next couple of turns. It is unfortunate that I'm not bumping my terraforming rating because the way that this is going to work, like the eco line player is going to be set up uh, to get, uh, you know, potentially mayor and gardener. So let's go ahead and do this. This should be three. 
and let's go to skip. So right now our economy is doing about as well as Saturn systems. This is six, seven, eight, and Saturn systems is at 20 on TR rating and we're at 25 and three. So we're, we're about at parity with, uh, with Saturn systems right now in terms of economy. And I'm not gonna play that, so we'll just pass here. So we have a lot of science tags, so we definitely are looking for the science tag payoffs. So anything that, um, you know, like the big energy cards or even something like, uh, we're almost ready for something like anti-grab technology. We're not quite there, but we're gonna draw a lot of cards this next turn because we're gonna draw two off of research, plus we're gonna get uh, a card off of the uh, Mars University and we're gonna get two filters out of the other. All right, so I'm passing even down. So I'm passing to Ecoline Again, I think what I would prefer to do here is force Ecoline to take Extreme Cold Fungus. This is trusting Ecoline a lot because um, if they pass this card right on down to the Saturn Systems player, it's pretty miserable for me because he's just going to be able to get a bump off the auction every single turn of the game. But I didn't come here to play it safe. I'm here to try and win. So I'm going to take business network and I'm going to let the extreme, I'm going to let, hopefully the eco line player will cut that extreme cold fungus. Um, and we'll see what we got here. So urbanized area, that's interesting. Rover construction's also pretty good. This does not require a, um, does not require a, a energy. Flooding lets me activate my ability, but it costs me 10 and I don't get any points. I'm not a big fan of those. I think, hmm. I think I like Rover Construction, and I think I actually might take that card. I think that's going to generate some money for me in this game. Ooh, Invention Contest is really good for us right now because um, it kind of a bummer to pass another kind of a bummer to pass another uh, plant to Ecoline, but plant production card, but um, Invention Contest is so good for us because it triggers both of our universities. And I'm not even really sure what I'm looking for at this point, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see a lot of cards this turn, so hopefully some strategy will formulate. And I really hope that that uh, extreme cold fungus didn't make it to uh, Saturn Systems. So you know what? I'm just gonna take Invention Contest. It seems a little weird. Um, you could also make a case for Grass, but I'm just gonna keep Invention Contest. I think I'm gonna draw so many cards that I'd rather just keep my money uh, and see what we get. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So, first things first, let's look and see if we want to draw the card. Vesta Shipyard. I don't think so. If Saturn Systems weren't in this game, I might consider taking that, but I don't want to just hook them up. So I'm going to go ahead and start by playing Mars University and I'm going to cycle fuel generators. I should have bought one more card just to have one available to cycle. Because when I trigger, yeah, maybe I should have just bought that card to cycle it. That was, that was a mistake. I will draw a card though when I play the Mars University. So let's go ahead and play this. And I'm going to cycle fuel generators. Nothing wrong with fuel generators, it's cheap. All right, so here's another card that I can filter. Let's see what I drew off of that. Design microorganisms in space mirrors. Okay, so space mirrors is definitely one that I'm happy to filter. So I'll filter space mirrors off of invention contest. And then when I play research, um, hmm, I, may, I actually may just play microorganisms this turn. That's pretty good for me. Yet another space tag, or uh, research tag, sorry. 
Yeah, I, pr I should have bought one more card out of that opening set just because I have so many tags, science tags that I'm playing this turn that I'm going to be filtering. Um, yeah, that's a wise play for the purple player too, having passed urbanized area. Uh, the purple player is going to be tough to catch here because they're going to he's going to be set up for for two of the milestones and awards. I've got very little in terms of builder. Like I just don't have a clear one. Well, I should be able to get scientist. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, not exactly setting the world on fire in this game. All right. Arrow breaking, so that's obviously very good for the Saturn Systems player. Okay, that makes sense uh, that he played the uh, Regolith Eaters and then had that card to follow up with there. That's a nice little play for that person. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Invention Contest going. And we're going to discard Space Mirrors. That card, I do not like that card. And okay, interesting. So now, design microorganisms is a microbe, not a plant. This card's very good, but ice asteroids also just pretty good. It it also bumps my terraforming rating twice, and there's these things to pick up still. I think I'm just gonna take ice asteroid. I'll plan to play that next turn. So in that case, when I picked up Big Asteroid as well, hmm, that's interesting. So that gives me some hope of getting to Terraformer before anybody else. I could just pass this turn and then play Big Asteroid and Ice Asteroid next turn. That's a pretty good turn. This would cost me 50, and I'll be at, what am I going to generate next turn? 28, so I'll be at 28, 38, 44, but I'll pick up the two titanium cubes if I play Ice Asteroid first. So I could actually play this and get four bumps to my TR. That's pretty good. Um, I'll get four bumps to my TR, and will I have enough cash to do UNMI's ability? No. I don't think I will. That's unfortunate. Maybe I maybe I play those out over two turns then. Okay, I think I'm going to pass here. Hold on to research in my I, I this is a little sketch not playing microorganisms, but I don't want to cycle any of these cards and I I I don't know. I I'm just going to I'm gonna pass. I think it'll be good for me to have more cash there. Let me know what you guys think about that if I'm making a mistake there. I mean, microorganisms is definitely good, but I hope that I'm able to play uh, that ice asteroid first to pick up these uh, steel and titanium bonuses. But I am going last this generation. Okay, well, Demo's down. I definitely have some good plays for my terraforming rating here, so I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna be able to hit uh, these plants. Is that four? Yeah, thanks, Wolf. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, oh, yeah, you're right, actually, in terms of being able to pay for everything. No, you're totally right about that. I'm gonna grab Aqua for pumping just because I don't want anybody else to get that. Uh, that's, but I'm not gonna buy that. I will buy Demos down. Um, development Center. I do like Development Center. I don't think I need it this game. I have so many science tags. I just don't want anybody else to get it. I, I want to be the only person that gets to draw cards. It's my favorite thing to do in any game is draw cards. So, um, All right. So, wow, Space Station came around too. I do have three space events to play. Um, 
four if you can count that, and it's a point. I don't think I can do everything that I want, though. Well, I mean, if I take these two cards, okay, let's say I take those two cards, I'm at 40, then I play big asteroid, I have 13 cash, and then four titanium, which is an additional uh, 12. Yeah, I'd have enough to play ice asteroid, so I think I can take these two cards. I can't buy this, though, or I can't play it, but I think I'll take that. All right, so a plan is taking shape. So I think what I'm gonna do is just basically play these event cards out for the next few turns and try and go for Terraformer. And I actually don't wanna play Ice Asteroid and Big Asteroid on the same turn because I wanna be able to bump my TR rating. So I think on this turn, I'm gonna go ahead and play Space Station and Ice Asteroid, pick up the cubes. Um, I actually go before Ecoline next turn, so I can play Demos down the turn after that, pick up one of these heat bumps, and if possible, play a big asteroid on the next turn and pick up the next one. So that's a pretty sweet series of plays for me, and it's maximally punishing to Ecoline's plants. So, okay, so the purple player played Extreme Cold Fungus, so that's good. I'm glad he got it. I mean, it's still annoying that that guy got it. I think he's still one off. I don't think he can get it yet. Yeah, he's off. So I have a good setup. I think I, with the cards that I drew there, which are pretty good, I actually think I have a decent chance of... Um, I actually think I have a decent chance of getting Terraformer, but we'll see. Um, okay, so to start it off, I'm going to play... Space Station into Ice Asteroid. Make sure that I want to do that. Yes, and that gives me enough money to do everything I want to do. So Space Station and Ice Asteroid. I'm going to pick up this Titanium. And my other option would be to pick up this Steel. I mean, I don't really need this deal. I could just take a card, which would give me more stuff for cycling. Yeah, I'm going to take the card. It's a little bit of an odd play, but um, I just need cards to cycle because I have all these tags in my hand, and I got nuclear power, so that's good. All right, so I'm going to use UNMI's ability this turn, and. And then I'll look at the top card. If he bumps the heat, that'd actually be great, because next turn, I'd rather play, well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. If he plays, if he bumps the heat, then I'll play Big Asteroid before Demos down, and if he plays, if he doesn't, then I'll play Demos down before Big Asteroid. It, it, either way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to look at a card, potentially buy it, and then I'm going to uh, bump my uh, terraforming rating. So I'm going to be at 28. I'll have 31 cash next next turn that I'm adding, plus six titanium, mohol. Okay, probably picking up. Well, steel. Yeah, that's probably it's cash. Same thing and going for a heat engine. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the top card. Well, I mean, if we're just gonna keep doing these space events, it's not bad. Um, hmm. Just go straight for TR the entire game. It's pretty good. I mean, it's going to give me, I'm at three plants. This is, I can get another two. It put me at seven plants. Yep. 
yeah, I think I'll take it. And I'm going to go ahead and bump my ability here. I'm just going to basically play for the rest of the game. I'm just going to play event cards. <laughs> it's too bad. It's too bad I don't have uh, interplanetary cinematics because, uh, or it would have been insane if I had gotten arrow breaking. Um, okay, so I'm going to have 31. I'm going to have 34 cash next turn plus two titanium. And I do want to, I'm going to hit all of purple's plants. Okay. So I have to make sure, well, I have enough money. I'm going to have enough money to play Demos down, which is the more expensive one, because I have those two titanium cubes. So that means I can buy cards, although my next, really, my next two or three turns are pretty much mapped out. So unless I get something really good, um, I'm probably not going to buy a lot of cards if I can avoid it. Sponsors, mining area, gene repair. I mean, gene repair is really good for me. But I'm still unlikely to buy it. Let's see here. Mining area. Nobody has a tile that would make mining area work right now. I don't really care. We're already in generation six if people want to buy that. What's the builder looking at like right now? Five. So Saturn Systems is moving towards Builder, and I'm passing. It's Gen Six right now, so even down, I'm passing to Eco Line. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hack Algae and hope that the that that guy takes Mining Area from Saturn Systems because I, I I do I do need to get a um, a milestone. Convoy is good. Convoy is definitely pretty good. Is that one that I would buy? Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> I don't have any um, power or building steel development so convoy I don't know if I want convoy I'm I mean obviously it's a good card but it's expensive for the TR boost you're, you're paying the premium to get a card and cards is not really what I have a problem with right now um, if I had something if I had arrow breaking I would have taken it just because it generates cash and heat but I think I'm just not gonna take any of these cards again my next several turns are completely mapped out um, I don't have a lot of excess I'm not going to have a lot of excess cash to play with so I don't need those cards right now so this will be interesting I'm curious what the Saturn Systems player does if if he doesn't bump the heat right now I'm. oh he has two heat bumps so he could just go straight yeah, he's going to get them both. Okay, all right. Well played. So I'll get the other one. Now it doesn't really matter which one I play first. This guy has seven exactly, so I'm just going to demos down. Hit these eco line plants, and I'm just gonna UNMI. All right, I do get to go first next turn. So unless the Saturn Systems player plays a bunch of building tags this turn, he's got 24 cash. He certainly could because he's got three three steel as well. Hmm. 
I have four steel. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, if the if the well, so it's unlikely that the eco line player is going to be able to claim both mayor and gardener before I have the opportunity to claim terraformer. Well, yeah, because he's out of cash right now. So, um, yeah, so I think I have a pretty good chance of getting Terraformer. And then I'm going to want to fund Scientist pretty soon as well. I've got four, five, six in my hand. Yeah. Although this one, the, the microorganisms, I don't have a lot of time to get that down if I'm going to play it. Hmm. He's really pushing hard in the heat. So I definitely want to soak up as much of that as I can. He's probably going to fund Thermalist too. All right, let's see what we got here. Trans-Neptune Probe. Yeah, I think I'll buy it. I mean, it's another science tag. I get to filter. It's cheap. Yeah, I'll take that one. That one's pretty good. And that's all I got. So I, I definitely don't have much of a presence on the board. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do there. This guy's not going to be happy when I hit him with another asteroid. Yeah, so I think the next one I want to play is the asteroid, big asteroid, to make sure that I can use that titanium to get... Um, huh. I have to say, I don't totally understand Industrial Center. I mean, I guess it's good if... Um, I guess it's good if you think that you're going to go for Miner or something, but you spend seven to bump your Steel 1. He doesn't have alloys, which means that it takes... It takes four turns just to break even. I mean, to be just a, a bit ahead. Like, I, I don't think it's a great deal. <clears throat> I mean, if you get alloys, it makes it, it makes it a little bit better. But even then, it's just really slow. Like, I don't think that card's very good. All right, I do get to lead off here, so my goal for this turn is to claim Terraformer. Um, I'm going to hit Ecoline's plants. Ecoline is going to be going for um, probably going to claim Mayor quickly, and was probably hoping to get Gardener. So in this one, it's odd is up, so I'm passing to Saturn Systems. I don't really care about any of these cards. I don't want to pass him an easy building tag, so I'm just going to take this and hope he cuts Moss from the other player. Special design I don't need. Now farming is pretty good, and it looks like the way the heat's going up, that's going to... That's a card I might actually consider buying. There we go, Mass Converter. So that's one I will I will buy, and basically I'll have power for the rest of the game for anything else that I need. <clears throat> and it's another science tag that lets me filter and gets me closer to, uh, it will ensure that I get scientists. So I'll definitely, definitely take Mass Converter. I mean, farming's a really good card, but uh, I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to see so many cards that I don't think I'm going to need that type of card. I mean, it is good, but I just want all my cash right now. 
<clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna play, let's see here, Ecoline is at six. I can't let Ecoline uh, lock me out of these, so I'm just gonna play this big asteroid. Hit Ecoline's plants, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use that. <clears throat> That guy's not going to be happy about that. And then I've got, so I'll claim that milestone right now. And then I'm gonna have some good turns where I get to just see a ton of cards. Yeah. So he wisely plays mayor. I don't know where this guy is in terms of builder. He's at six. Okay. I'm not sure who I think is more likely to, to beat me in this game. Um, I think Saturn Systems right now just because He's got a better terraforming engine, or she, that person has a better terraforming engine. Yeah, Thermalist, that's a smart play from him just to lock that up. Um, I really liked, I would have liked to have gotten Scientist down, but I've just, I haven't had the opportunity. So let me just get Terraformer here. And, um, I think that's all I got here. I don't, I don't really need to play anything else right now okay so I got my milestone so that's really good and I'm gonna be able to keep terraforming at a pretty brisk pace here I still have some good event cards to play and I've got a lot of titanium right now so next turn I want to get I want to get Mass Converter online for sure, because even over the course of a couple, I mean, I think this game's going to end pretty quickly, but this is still potentially going to be good. So this is like the kind of game where actually a physics complex would actually be good. <laughs> um, that actually came up in one of the comments. Um, somebody was talking about how that card would have been good in one of my other games. and. Um, I actually don't think physics complex is very good and I explained why in the in my reply but uh, in this particular game with the heat rising super fast physics complex would actually be pretty good because you know once that t once the heat gets terraformed it would give it would basically give a way for me to use energy to make points um, and it is two points a turn so if I played it right now that com that combo of cards would be worth probably six points. Let's see, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So if I played it next generation, and I had both those cards. It'd probably be worth about six points, which I think for it would cost twenty credits to get those two cards going. That's pretty good. Six points for twenty credits, pretty good. Yeah, I don't. I just don't understand that. I, I really don't. Um, I I think next turn I would also like to fund scientist if I can. I do have some steel floating around too, just to, I gotta keep that in mind. Okay, hmm. Interesting. Well, 
Eos might actually be good here. I, I'm passing, let's see here, Gen 8, even down. So I'm passing to Ecoline. I think I can make Ecoline cut Phobos Space Haven. Again, it's risky. I'm playing pretty risky here. If I take Eos, he's going to take Immigrant City. I don't really want Immigrant City. Um, although I, I may need a city at some point. That's a tough one. I probably can't just win playing events, although I might be able to if I just keep playing all these event cards. Um, huh, tough one. Phobos Space Haven is definitely good. But that's like the rest of my game if I do that. I don't know. This is a tough one. I'm going to play... Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll take... I think I'm gonna take the the space haven. All right, that's a tough one. Um, I'm just gonna cut mineral deposit because I don't want. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the um, <coughs> uh, that card from the guy who has like 80 heat. This guy. Okay, standard tech. Do I want... I don't really need a standard tech. I'm just going to cut the symbiotic fungus. So, I, I guess I will take Space Haven. Although I think I can, I can, I can just get cheaper points, but it's pretty good. I will take the space haven. It's three points at the end of the game. If I don't, if I don't have anything to just do at the end, it's just three points. Um, okay. So what do I want to do this turn? I finally have a kind of a turn to do a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna take gardener. That's a dagger for uh, for Saturn Systems, who is hoping to get Builder. All right, so I am going to fund Scientist this turn if I have the opportunity. Banker, Scientist, and Miner. And he's going to be looking to fund Miner. If I can get Scientist this turn, that will go a long way. That will put me at parity on Milestones and Awards. And I have a pretty healthy lead on TR over the eco line. And I'm going to have a lot of points at the end of the game. So, ooh, Space Elevator, that's a good one. Definitely a good card. Okay. All right, so I'm going to fun Scientist. I think, I think I should be able to win that one just with all the science cards that I have. Let's do that now. And there's no pressure for me to play these other things right now. So let's just look at a card here. Earth Office. I don't think I have any more Earth Tags. It's just the interstellar colony ship. So I'd almost make my money back. Nah, I'm not going to buy that. 
You could make a case for it because if I'm planning on playing colony ship, but you never know. Sometimes you don't. All right. So what else am I going to play this turn? Probably play mass converter. Research and mass converter potentially. Hmm. What cards do I want to cycle now? Probably nuclear power. Definitely nuclear power because of mass converter. And I guess it's designed microorganisms because we're beyond that point of the game. So I do have two cards to cycle. So I'll play research next. That will be good. And I'll get mass converter online. So Saturn Systems got the Immigrant City. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and research. And I'm going to get rid of microorganisms. and nuclear power. Draw a bunch of cards here. Nice. I'll pass that along and let's just take a quick look here. Okay, Zeppelin's is sweet. Medical Lab is nice. I don't know how many... Uh... <laughs> hey Olsen, yeah I know, I'm just uh, I'm super into it right now. I only have two building tags, unfortunately, but I can hold back uh, medical lab in the event that I need an extra science tag. And research outpost is okay, although I'm really just not playing to the board that much in this one. I still have this four steel. I gotta keep that in mind. I'm holding off on towing this comet until I'm, I'm gonna see if I can possibly engineer it so I can get one of these bumps. Though probably not. Playing Heather is actually not not terrible. It gets me that gets me a few plants. Lava flows, okay. Interesting. So he played the plant. That gives me an opportunity. I don't know if I have enough titanium for it. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, sweet. So I'll play Towing a Comet. That worked out really well for me. And I guess I'll pick up some plants. You know, an area. I guess I'll put them over here. Kind of kind of a bummer to put him here because I guess I'll put him here just make uh, I mean he, this guy is going to play plants over here potentially so alright so I do. I am going to sell a card here so that I can uh, so that I can bump use UNMI's ability so I'll probably sell uh, GHG producing bacteria. I don't, I don't really need that right now. I might even sell research outposts. Although research outposts, I don't think that's going to be very good for me this game. I just don't, I just don't need that effect. I'm not trying to put down All right. 
right, so let's just sell a card here. I will sell that one. I just really don't need that one. Okay, so this game is going to end really fast. Um, how am I doing? I think just overall I'm, I'm in it. I don't think I'm dominating it, but I'm in it. Um, and I, I will have a lot of points out of hand in, in the last generation. So... I think it's good if the game goes quickly. Like the Saturn Systems guys, not like way ahead of me on points or anything like that, has not played a bunch of Jupiter tags. So it's not like out of nowhere he's just going to score a bunch of points. I could just get left on the dust, like kind of left in the dust on, on the board play. Um, yeah, I think it's just ice cap melting. That's a cheap ocean tile. I might actually buy that card. It's just so cheap, and it gives me plants. It will. I guess I can get my last plant with Heather too. Natural preserve, Martian rails. I guess I'll just take microbes here. I don't really need that, but hmm. I mean, I could do something like play. Uh, the scientific outpost here and then immediately drop a plant down. Let's see, shuttles is pretty good. I pretty much deployed all my space cards though. I mean, I have a few more coming. Yeah, mass converter is a power one, so I've got just a couple space cards. Yeah, maybe I do want to play Scientific Outpost here. Um, all right, shuttles. Do I want shuttles? I don't think so. Um, I only have, well, I guess I have this space card as well. So I have three space cards. This game's going to end so fast, though. I don't think I want it. What I want to do is play Phobos Space Haven and Interstellar Colony Ship. It cost me 11 for one point. And it means I have to play Mass Converter. So I'm going to take Ice Cap Melting, but I'm not going to take anything else. Yeah, so I think, I think what I'm going to do is play Scientific Outpost here. Drop, if I can, that ocean tile here and then look to get two plants down over here which you know each of those plants would then be three point plays and it, it, at least it, it, it will mean that I just don't get like completely destroyed on the board I mean I'm, I'm gonna be behind but um, I think those are good plays what would be really gross is if the Saturn system player had uh, uh, he went for minor okay I was thinking like if he had uh, Insulation and then like took up all the heat got one good bump out of it and then switched over to that All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I Am gonna play research outpost Let me Just make sure I want to do that. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm gonna go research outpost Use all my steel and I'm gonna put that Let's see what I want to filter away here Gosh, all these cards are pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to filter away Heather because I'm going to get those plants with my ocean tile. Draw a card, and I'm going to put this guy here. All right, action two. I am going to look at the top card, insulation. No, I do not want that. 
Okay, now the other thing is, can I get second place in minor somehow? I can if I play Phobos Space Haven and I just save the titanium. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I, I do hope somebody bumps the heat because, oh, that's that's funny. Um, I do want to play that ice cap melting this turn. So I hope he bumps the heat because I do want to play ice cap melting, which will immediately let me play that plant. Um, and I've got 29 cash, so if I absolutely had to, I could do a standard project. I don't really want to do that, although it does it does take points away from the Saturn Systems player, who's just basically going to soak up all that heat if I don't. It might actually be a good play next turn with all of my extra cash just to, to buy out the heat. So if I'm planning to play these three cards, Mass Converter basically pays for itself. So I think I will play Mass Converter. If if this if uh, Saturn Systems doesn't bump the heater, I'll play Mass Converter. Um, that makes this one basically free as well. So I'll get a couple of filters this turn, Cupola. Okay. Martian rails. See, I don't totally get that either. I don't think that's going to have time to pay for itself before he's, he gets there. But I'm going to go ahead and play Mass Converter here. And I'm going to discard Heat Trappers. Skip. I, I wouldn't necessarily have played Mass Converters if I wasn't planning to play these three space cards, but basically the six credits that I get off uh, with with it makes it virtually free, and it's another science tag, just to make absolutely certain that I, I bury everybody in that one. Um, and it's also just a cheap play. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Magnetic Field Generator is pretty good right now. That's I mean, that's a good combo with that mass converter. It gives me three points. And, and two plant production. So I'll play... Farming. Okay, that one's certainly good. All right, really hoping he bumps the heat here because I do want to play that ice cap melting. If not, I can just keep temporizing and just, I'll, I'll play the probe here. Martian rails, yep. Okay. Trans-Neptune Probe. Alrighty, so at this point, I am i don't think I need a Medical Lab. I don't think I need the Science Tag here. I don't have any more. I guess it's, I guess it's the one that I would hold on to. Um, I'm more likely to play a Magnetic Field Generator, so I'm gonna cycle Lycan. Okay. Oh, interesting. Splitting plant. That's worth two points. 
and take some oxygen away from other people. Open city is another possibility towards the end, but there's not like, people are protecting their plants pretty well. Yeah, that's the one I wanted, but there's still another good one for me. I think the Saturn Systems player is watching the stream, doesn't want to bump that heat. <laughs> I'll keep, I'll just keep temporizing though. I guess um, I'm really not that worried that anybody's going to catch up to me on Scientist. I have eight yeah I mean so I guess I would probably sell medical lab this magnetic field generator is pretty good for me right now honestly like I'm gonna lead off next turn so I guess I guess if this guy doesn't bump the heat what I'll do is play magnetic field generators Oh, interesting. Not sure I totally understand that one. Like, kind of cannibalizing his own heat. He's got all that extra heat. I don't really understand that play, but... Um, okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and play uh, Ice Cap Melting. And I will take the cash here, too. Okay, so that'll also give me a bump to um, that will also give me a bump to my terraforming rating, and I actually still have enough to just play a magnetic field generator. I guess the other option would be to play splitting plan but I think that the game's gonna this game's gonna end next turn it would only be worth one point and I just have more I just have more powerful plays between now and then it is worth me keeping in mind that right now if I can play a single thing that gets me a, a cube uh, a, a titanium like Phobos Space Haven is gonna be very good because it also puts me in second place for minor um, also, how much heat does this guy have? Not much. Yeah, the green player played very well. Um, He's doing, he's doing well. All right, so let's go ahead and... The other thing about not using Splitting Plant is that if I save up these uh, energy cubes, it'll actually help me get second place in Thermalist as well. So I'll be first, second, second. That's pretty good. So what I really want to do is get down... I guess in that case, I want to get down Space Haven. I guess the other option would be Zeppelins, which almost pays for itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. And how many building tags do I have? Three. So Zeppelins cost 12. I think I just want to play Space Haven. Yep, I just want to play Space Haven. It's just a three-pointer. So I've got I've got a bunch of points in hand here. So next turn I'm gonna play Field Generator and Colony Ship. 
That's six, that's seven points, and I may have enough cash to play some one of these other cards here too. Oh, and I gotta remember to uh, to bump my terraforming rating here. I gotta remember to do that. I'm gonna put, okay. Okay, I, I think I'm in a pretty decent spot here. I'm it's, it's gonna be close with Saturn systems. I think I'm pretty far ahead of the Ecoline player, but they certainly have better board than I do. There's no doubt about that. Um, okay, so. Yeah, I don't really care if these guys get another thing on nitrogen rich asteroid. I think I just take breathing filters. Um, not sure I'm gonna buy that. Let's see how much cash I have. Forty-seven. Yeah, I don't think fusion power, wave power. I'm not gonna buy any of these either. Don't want anybody to see more cards. Hmm. Do I want breathing filters? Do I have enough for that? I mean, I, I think I have enough things to play, actually, that I don't need breathing filters. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that. I don't need any of those. So I could just play, I could just play water splitting plant and take an oxygen bump. I think I'm still a lock for second place on Thermalist. He's got three. He's got 20. And I would have, let's see here. So that's, this is, this is 38 and this takes a point away from someone else. That's kind of what I like about it. That's 38, for, so this is 50 if I do this. I'd have enough. Yeah, it also puts pressure on them because um, it also puts pressure on them to end the game. I guess not that much pressure because they're they're going before me next turn. I think the game is going to end this turn. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's probably in my best interest to have the game end this turn because this guy is certainly generating a lot. I'm hoping that the Ecoline player buys up some of these plants. So next I would play Colony Ship. Doesn't look like I'm playing Open City. Mm. He's gonna fight me on that. Okay, glad to see that.
It's a good play for him. Okay, so he did convert the plant. So we're okay. Yep, yeah, that's so. I think the game probably will end this turn. It's not a sure thing. Don't need that one. Is the eco line player next to any steel? He is next to this one. I don't really care if that guy gets the ties me though. So like if this guy plays a plant here to tie me on it, I don't really care. So I'm gonna spend that titanium. I'm just gonna skip here and see what these guys do. I wanna see what these guys do. Um, hmm. So in terms of the Saturn Systems player, he's showing one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five points on board. I'm showing two points on board. So we're about even there. I'm a little bit ahead of him on TR and he's got zero VP and I've got eight. So I think I'm winning right now. Let's see the, the eco line player because I'm also going to pick up second place in some of these awards and we're otherwise at parity. So I'm at plus four on awards too. And the eco line player I think is just too far behind on terraforming rating. but. I'm almost 17. I'm 17 points ahead there, but he does have quite a few plants. All right, so I'm curious if the Saturn system player buys up the last ocean or a plant tile. If he doesn't, it might be better just for me to buy the plants. It's a three-point play. Um, okay. All right, that's good. So that means that the game the game's over. So now I can basically get just get as many points as I want. So or as I can. Um, and the Saturn system player has a couple uh, buried VP. All right, so let's start off by playing Colony Ship. And I am going to I'll play Magnetic Field Generator and I should have enough to bump my TR one more. So I'll get four more points. Got a lot of cash. All right, so I'll play magnetic field generators. That should give me just enough to get one more bump here. So I'll sell these three cards and get one more bump.
Who's second on scientists? Eco line. Okay, that's good for me. I think. The Saturn Systems player could get there, potentially. It does help me that I get I'm gonna get an additional four points on awards for getting second. So all of this is even, but I'm plus four on points here with respect to everybody else. He's only got a couple cards left, so he's just going to be buying oh, penal mines. Okay. It's pretty good. point yeah I don't think that this was a particularly high scoring game but I, I think I'm in a pretty good spot this guy does have a lot of money so well I guess he got 33 buy one more plant yeah well, it'll be it'll be interesting here. So I've got a six point edge here, four point edge here, and probably about a little bit of an edge down there too. Oop, terraforming Ganymede, that's pretty good. How many tags? Three. An additional two points. Uh, that could make it close. So I've got a three-point edge here, four-point edge here, and I've got a little bit of an edge on points here, but I'm down a couple points here. So I think it's going to be close. I don't think he gets another plant. Nope. Let's put the GG in there. Ended up with six VP, and I think I, well, let's see, I had 12. Yeah, I think I got it. Uh, by 10 points. Let's see here. Yeah, these extra four points on awards were pretty big because uh, that's almost the difference in the game, really, since these are zero sum. And pretty low scoring game. I mean, we really pushed the terraforming parameters there. Um. Yeah, good game. Well, I'm curious to see what you guys think about UNMI. I um, I guess I was pretty lucky to just get all those space events, but I did have a really nice card drawing engine going early. With uh, when you get Mars, it was Mars University, and uh, I can't remember what the other one is, but one uh, you get to get a card every two tags, and the other one lets you cycle a bunch. And getting that combo going is pretty good. You just see a lot of cards. Um, and so we just sort of chain those space events in and, and try to use UNMI's ability as much as possible. Um, 75 points though for a 10 generation game is not a ton of points. So I think, I don't know, I just, I don't think UNMI is very good. I mean, I think, I, I guess I think of a good score for a 10 generation game being about 80 points. Uh, 85 points and for like an 11 generation game somewhere in the low 90s like high high 80s low 90s so I don't know 
Uh, not sure if UNMI is very good, but anyway, um, thank you, thank you everyone for watching. And uh, I've got, I've just been super into terraforming lately, so I've I've recorded a whole bunch. I've got like three or four more to to put up there. I basically record every time I play. Um, I actually I did one over the weekend. I played Helion, and I realized that I didn't. Um, I don't have any videos of Helion on the website, and um, I didn't record it because I just wanted a little break from from talking while playing. But uh, I should have I should have done it because it was a great game. And uh, but mostly I just record every time I play. So now I've got like four uh, four videos ready to go up on the site. So anyway. Uh, if you guys are watching, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our Twitch stream. Um, I'm, my ultimate goal is to contact Stronghold Games at some point and see if they'll uh, sponsor us in some way. So the more people that subscribe, the better. Um, we're thinking about organizing a tournament and trying to get uh, maybe Stronghold Games to throw up some promo cards for rewards or for uh, prizes and stuff like that. So. The more people that are subscribed to the Twitch channel and to the YouTube channel, the, uh, the better. And there'll be more uh, information forthcoming about the tournament if we decide to, to move forward with that. And if you're interested in, in doing a tournament, uh, put it in the comments. And if there's, if there's enough people uh, interested, then, then we'll make it happen. And I guess we would need 18 people to run the tournament that we were thinking of. So we would make six pods of three which would then become, um, you know, uh, three pods of three, or no, two pods of three, and then we would potentially, uh, somebody from Cardboard from Mars, probably me and Nima, would play the last two people in the last round, or, or if we got enough people to run a full three generation, uh, or <laughs> generation, three round tournament, we would need 27 for a, th for a full uh, three, Three round tournament. So, anyway, that's just something I was thinking about. But uh, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.